join us, please. And your name is? Claire Grogan. Your chosen charity? The British Association of Adoption and Fostering. And your chosen subject? Doris Day. Doris Day in 90 seconds. Here we go. In which American city was Doris Day born as Doris Mary Ann Kappelhoff on the 3rd of April 1924? Evanston, Cincinnati. Correct. Ohio. Who co-starred with Day as the pianist and music arranger Barney Sloan in the Warner Brothers film Young at Heart? Frank Sinatra. Yes, Day said that the person who was the biggest influence on her singing career was her singing teacher when she was young. What was her name? Uh, uh, Grace Rain. Yes, so Day sings Que Sera Sera, the winner of the Academy Award for Best Original Song in the 1956 suspense thriller The Man Who Knew Too Much. Who directed that film? Um, Michael Vito? No, Alfred Hitchcock. In 1940, oh. she made her debut before a live audience in which club owned by the band leader Barney Rapp? The Sign of the Drum. Yes, which song, written by Sammy Fain and Paul Francis Webster and performed by Day in the film Calamity Jane, won the Academy Award for Best Original Song in 1953? Secret Love. Yep. Day made her big screen debut as the singer Georgia Garrett in which 48 film directed by Michael Curtis? Uh, Romance in the High Seas. Yes, she turned down the chance to appear in the 67 film The Graduate because she felt it would be difficult for her to play an older, more worldly woman on screen. What part had she been asked to play? Uh, Mrs. Robinson. Yes. In the film Pillow Talk, Rock Hudson's character Brad Allen tries to date Day's character Jan Morrow by pretending to be a Texan going by what name? Rex Stetson. Yep. She plays a journalism lecturer called Erica Stone who locks horns with the newspaper editor Jim Gannon, played by Clark Gable, in which film? Teacher's Pet. Yes. Time's up. No passes. Nine points. <laughs> And 